been a very, very long time since I've made a video in this spot, and to be a little bit sad and sentimental, it might be one of the last times I ever make a video in this spot, and even in this house. So stay tuned for details towards the end of the month. And also, me and Josh got married on Halloween, and I really want to make a video with him talking about that, and also our honeymoon. Stay tuned for that as well. But on to the meat of this video, which is my October book haul in October, on the 24th to be exact. Easily Library had a box book sale and I got a big old box of books for five dollars. I kind of splurged a bit. I really don't need any of these books but I wanted I wanted to go to the book sales and I kind of decided to buy books anyway. The first book I picked up was The Encyclopedia of Monsters by Jeff Rovin. I really am interested in monsters and how they originated and this will be a really cool read. The second book I picked up and probably the best find I've ever had at any of these Easily Library book sales and I think you will agree with me is Cuckoo Calling. The Cuckoo's Calling. Sorry, got a little ahead of myself by Robert Galbraith. And if you're familiar with this, this is J.K. Rowling's second pen name. And I was really, really stoked to see this. It was at the top of one of the boxes. I was really like surprised nobody picked this up because they normally have a preview sale for the Friends of the Library the night before. And that's a five hour shindig. And I didn't get to the book sale until an hour and a half into it. And that was still there. I guess whatever their loss was, was my game. I was excited about that. The second book is Lois Lowry's The Giver. I read this in elementary school and that was about 20 years ago. That shows my age. I want to see if I remember any bits of it. The second book I picked up was The Great God Pan by Donna Jo Napoli. I guess that's how you say it. This is a pretty cover if you can see from the glare. The next book is The Doll Mage by Martine Levitt and it's a fantasy book and it looks pretty cool actually. <laughs> the next book is Nick Hornby Songbook. I keep saying the songbook. I don't know why. I always tend to do this whenever I go to book sales. I always tend to buy the sequels to books. I don't know why. It just so happens to happen. And this is one of them, The Return of Skeleton Man by Joseph Prahak. I'm gonna have to find the first book before I read the second book. The next book is The Prequel to Warm Bodies, The New Hunger by Isaac Marion. The next book is The Constellation of Selvi by Roderick Townley. That's a pretty cover too. Look at that. The next book is The Spirit Line by Amy and David Thurlow. The next book is The Printer's Devil by Paul the Bahal... I cannot speak. The next book I picked up was Roger Fishbite by Emily Prager. I actually have the picture of this book in my phone. It was one of those I wanted to read later but didn't want to pick it up in the library at that time and it was in the book sale so I was like why not. The next book is Pete Hotman's Invisible. Here's another sequel I picked up without realizing it was a sequel. The Secret of Peaches by Jody Lynn Anderson. I gotta stop doing that. The next book is The Witch's Boy by Michael Gruber and again it's one of those covers that looks so pretty. I like it a lot. The next book is Gender Blender by Blake Nelson. The next book is a mixture of different authors and it's Many Bloody Returns, Tales of Birthdays with Bite. The next book is The Freak Observer by Blythe Wilson. The next book is Jerry Spinelli's Smiles to Go and I really love Stargirl and I loved his writing style so I hope I really, really like this. The next book is The Red Necklace by Sally Gardner and I thought it was really pretty. The next book is Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. The next book is is Dangerous Wishes by William Sleater and it's another pretty one. The last book that I picked up for myself was Charlene Harrison's Definitely Dead and it's one of the Silky Stackhouse books. I'm trying to collect all these books because I really enjoyed the first book in the series and I kind of want to read the whole series. If I'm going to start a series why not go ahead and finish it. Alright so most of the time when these book sales go on is whenever my husband, I have to start saying husband now, it's whenever he has to work. I ask him what he wants me to look for and this time he mostly asked me to get books that look a little old or look classic or books by Brian Jacquez and that's what I got. I got The Ribba, Jack, and other curious yarns and he mostly wanted me to get books from the Redwall series because he's been reading me Redwall and I've been enjoying it so we kind of want to go through that series as he reads it to me and I picked up Metameo which he already has but why not already have another copy of it. So I picked up him by Rudyard Kepling and I didn't know if he would like it. I picked it up because it was a pretty cover and it looked kind of classic. Come to find out this is his favorite book from Rudyard Kipling. That is all my books for the October book haul. Me and Josh are trying to find a place to move into and that means money will be tight so I won't have any extra funds to go buy books with which I'm okay with because I have a crap ton of books that I need to read and my TBR pile is way too big for its own good. I will see you guys later. Bye! Bye spot!